Henrietta loved to read. She started by reading names on the trucks that passed the farm. Soon, she could sound out words on the feed sacks, even big ones, like hydro yucca physamine. Then she read whole sentences in the books and newspapers the farmers left behind after his coffee breaks. Henrietta began taking her own coffee breaks, not for coffee, but for the pure joy of reading. Henrietta, you waste so much time, squawked Aunt Golda. She hasn't laid one egg this week, Aunt Zoe complained. Henrietta wasn't interested in laying eggs. She'd much rather read. But Henrietta wasn't the only hen not laying well. Egg production is way down, the farmer said. Time to send these old hens on vacation. I hope we're going to the beach, clucked Aunt Emily. I'd rather play golf, squawked Aunt Marissa. A truck came the next day. Let's get you ladies packed for your vacation, the farmer said. The truck driver chuckled. This is your chance to veg out, girls. You can just noodle away your time. Yep, just simmer down and relax. The men laughed at their jokes as they loaded the hens into crates. Henrietta didn't see what was so funny. That was odd because she usually got the jokes in the comic strips. The driver reached for Henrietta. Leave that young one here, said the farmer. She owes me hundreds of eggs before she earns her vacation. The driver laughed. You think she'll rice to the occasion? Sure, she's a cream of a chicken. It'll be an egg drop all over the place once she gets started. No wonder you're wanton to keep her. The two men went into fits of laughter again, slapping each other on the back. Now, aren't you sorry you didn't work harder? Aunt Emily clucked. You'll miss our lovely vacation, cackled Aunt Liz. That's what she gets for being lazy, said Aunt Golda. Henrietta's head drooped. I didn't mean to be lazy. Have a nice time, aunties, Henrietta cried. Send postcards. She didn't hear a cluck of goodbye. Then the driver handed the farmer a wad of money. That's strange, said Henrietta. Why would the driver pay to take my aunties on vacation? As the truck made a big circle in the driveway, Henrietta saw the answer. Super Soup Company? I must rescue them! Henrietta ran headlong down the driveway, flapping her wings. You have to escape! They're going to make you into soup! The truck's engine drowned out her cries. As the truck pulled onto the road, Henrietta jumped onto the back bumper. It was hard enough hanging on as the truck rumbled down the winding farm road, but when it sped up on the expressway, Henrietta almost lost her grip. I have to be strong, she gasped. Then, as the truck hit full speed, Henrietta was blown off the bumper and tumbled into the ditch. When she got to her feet, Henrietta saw a supermarket. Just what I need. She rushed to the super soup display and grabbed a can. Oh, dear, I hope I didn't know the hen inside this. She read the label. Super Soup Company, Lonesome Road, Beaksville, New York. She ran to the map section and looked up the address. I have to head east on the expressway and get off at the second exit. Henrietta waited at the toll booth and jumped on the next truck that stopped. It was filled with pigs. Are you going on vacation with us? One pig asked. Vacation? Sounds fishy to me. I'll check it out. Henrietta read the letters on the truck. Saucy Sausage Company. That's a bad sign. Henrietta told the pigs about their fate. When this truck stops, you must run for your lives. Then the truck turned at the wrong exit. I have to leave, Henrietta said. Good luck and please learn to read so you don't get tricked again. The pigs promised that they would. Henrietta rolled down into the ditch, brushed herself off, and flew to an overhead sign. This time, she leaped onto a truck filled with cows. Going on vacation? she asked. They were. Henrietta read the truck sign. Happy Hamburger Company? 
She warned the cows about me being made into burgers. Then the truck pulled off at a rest stop. No time to rest. Everybody run! And please learn to read. Reading can save your lives. Henrietta jumped onto a truck covered with a tarp. Suddenly, she heard clucking. Could it be? She read the sign on the truck. Super Soup Company. Aunt Golda. Aunt Marissa. Aunt Emily. Are you here? Nobody here by those names, a hen clucked. Were your aunts going on vacation? This is not a vacation, Henrietta squawked, pulling back the tarp. They're going to make you into chicken soup. This set off such a commotion, Henrietta had a terrible time calming down the hens. By the time they arrived at the Super Soup Company, Henrietta had everyone ready, but she was worried. I hope my sweet aunties aren't soup yet. When the driver stopped the truck, the hens escaped in an explosion of squawks and feathers. Henrietta slipped through a door and started reading the signs in the hallway. Holding room beheading room, plucking room, canning room. Oh, dear. If they've gone beyond this first room, it's too late. There were complicated instructions on the holding room door that involved pecking out the word noodle with her beak. The door opened. Aunties, it's me, Henrietta. Are you here? You should have stayed home, called Aunt Golda. This is a rotten hotel. There's no beach, added Aunt Emily. No golf course either, said Aunt Marissa. Remembering how upset the hens in the truck had become, Henrietta decided not to explain about the soup. I'm opening the cages. Then you must follow close behind me and keep running until I tell you to stop. What are you, the activities director? Aunt Liz squawked. I want to rest, not run my drumsticks off. Me too, said Aunt Olive. Where's my hammock? Take us to a mall, said Aunt Zoe. Let's buy what the young chicks are wearing. You'll be wearing a can if you don't come with me, Henrietta screeched. This is a chicken soup factory. The hens were terrified, but they followed Henrietta through the factory and out the main door. They ran their drumsticks off until Henrietta found a winding road with small farms tucked along its length. Then she paused at each mailbox to check what was inside. What are you looking for? asked Aunt Liz. Clues, said Henrietta. What kind of clues? asked Aunt Olive. Clues like this. Henrietta pulled out a copy of the Versatile Vegetarian. We'll be safe here. This lady doesn't eat chicken. How do you know? asked Aunt Emily. I know because I can read. Henrietta went up to the farmhouse. The farmer was delighted to see her. She told Henrietta that she didn't eat beef, but kept cows for milk. She didn't eat pork, but kept pigs for digging truffles. And the best of all, she didn't eat chicken but she liked to have eggs for breakfast and an occasional quiche. Henrietta went back to report to the others. The farmer wants us to live here. She even has jobs for us. A job, squawked Aunt Marissa. We never got a vacation. Henrietta smiled. You'll like this job. We're supposed to eat the bugs in her big organic vegetable garden. Eating bugs isn't work, clucked Aunt Liz. That's delicious. From then on, Henrietta's aunties had a wonderful time patrolling the garden for bugs, and Henrietta took on an important new career. She became a reading teacher.